Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through a song called All You Ever by Hunter Hayes. And we end up cabling this on 6th fret to kind of match the recording more. Start out on an A minor chord, and when you play A minor, first finger goes to the B string on the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D string on the 2nd fret, and 3rd finger on the G string on the 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to an F major chord. And then if you know the bar F major, which I want an easy way to play this too, to do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major bar chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And I could substitute for that note is something called F major 7, the way you play F major 7. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major second chord and it sounds really, really happy. So we're kind of going between the A minor and the F. And you know, I kind of hear this cool little lick, and I'm kind of moving this by octave. But you can play the open B string, and then first fret on the B, third fret on the high E, and then open E, and then back to the open B, first fret on the B, third fret on the high E, open E, and then third fret on the B string, kind of around those chords. And you can even kind of work that as a strong thing to kind of match the recording. You can even kind of work it down as kind of on that first down for the open, and then kind of get the lick in around it if you're kind of digging on that. But a lot of times with a song like this, <laughs> to make it more interesting, kind of support my voice, I like using some strum patterns. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A minor just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 down. So we tried that through our intro progression. We'd have A minor, down, up. Think about with the song though, and this can be a little bit challenging if you're starting out. There's something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that beat into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the A minor and do it down for four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing it down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing it up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So all together, you got down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So we tried that through our intro progression. We have A minor, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. There, then we'll be going into our verse part, and our verse starts that same way with the A minor and F, and then an A minor, and then an F, and then we do an A minor, and then we go to a C major chord, and we play a C major. First finger stays on the B string, first fret, second finger stays on the D string, second fret, and third finger goes to the A string on the third fret, and if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C, we're going to be going to a G major chord, and we play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to go into a D minor chord. We play D minor. First finger goes to the high E on the first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and the third or the fourth finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. 
so we tried our strum pattern through the, the verse. We have the, or the down, down, up, up, down, up. We have A minor, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, F down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, up, up, down, up. And then from there, they would be going into our chorus part. Kind of chorus kind of mixes up a couple of those chords. Where do the C down up, up down up G down up up down up A minor down up up down up F down up up down up C down up up down up G down up up down up A minor down up up down up G down up up down up that first chorus. And then we'll basically be repeating those parts until we get to our solo part. And our solo, we, we take the A minor, and then we go to G, and then we go to F, and then we go back to G. But the weird part is the G only happens on the very, very last beat. So through that, that bridge part, you may want to do the A minor with the down, down, up, up, and then hit the G for the last down, up. And then the same thing for the F, down, up, up, and then G with the down, up, and then A minor, down, up, up, G down, up. First finger goes to the G on the second fret, the second finger on the high E on the second fret, and the third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string with the high E string, then that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. So the very end is almost kind of like an accent at the very end of kind of that solo bridge part. And then from there, then we'll be going back into our chorus and into our outro. Now the weird part is to play along with Hunter Hayes, instead of starting on an A minor chord, he's actually starting on an E flat minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 6th fret, then now your A minor is really an E flat minor, your F major is really a B major, and your G, uh, C major is really a G flat major, your G major is really a D flat major, your D minor is really an, an, uh, an A flat minor, and when we get to it, the D major is really an A flat major. But to take it from the very beginning, you may want to even kind of, kind of use that intro lick at the, at the very beginning to kind of kick it off. Or you could kind of work that with kind of that first down strum of the, the chords, actually. And that could be a cool way to kind of intro the tune. Or you could use your down, down, up, up, down, up, and have A minor, down, up. with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We'd have A minor, down, up, up, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, down, up, up, down, up, A minor, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up, A minor, down, up, up, down, up. Or if we tried that with our 16th pattern, we'd have A minor,
piece of our intro actually kind of back to that A minor. And then from there, then we'll be going back into our, our verse part. Now, one other thing I think about adding to the song though is the bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, you're throwing a bass note for the chord. So on the A minor, you'd have the A for your bass. On the F major, you'd have the low E for the bass for doing that bar F. If you're doing the F major set, you'd have the D for the bass. On the C, you'd have the A string for the bass. On the G, you'd have low E for the bass. And on the D minor, you'd have the D string for the bass. So we tried our next verse with a bass down, up, up, down, up. You'd have A minor and A bass down, up, up, down, up, down, up. of how you could strum through all you ever bought, or hey, so good luck. <laughs>